Mellish and we're doing the second part of this Drawing People course and we are working on um, stick people and I call them stick figures and it's called Jeannie's Drawing People course but what I like to call it is the bare necessities of life drawing. Thank you. Um, it, because it's it's sort of like a foundation of life drawing. It's like the fundamentals of how the figure works. Very, very simple, no complications, just bones like sticks. Um, the first thing we'll do is make the central line bendy. And that'll be good, so that means that the, the figure can bend in any way it likes, like this, like this, like this. Uh, and bend right over. Um, it's nothing about the limbs, it's about the, the line, the central line. So it's bendy. Now it is bendy. And the other thing is we're going to have shoulder line that goes across there, shoulder line. And hip line goes across there, hip line, with a leg on each corner and the shoulder line, an arm on each corner. And if you have um, a pen it's um and and you can put these in uh, it'll be like a sort of H shape here we go uh, we have we have so far we've got a head and a space for the neck and then we've got the we've got this show the central line what you've got you've had done last time was the central line and you had two legs and feet and two arms and hands now what we're going to do today is to a new thing is the shoulder line and put it in there so it joins up to the uh, and the hip line which joins up to the legs okay the shoulder line and the hip line and we also have a neck so I'll put it in a little bit like that and now what I'm going to do today is one thing first I have named my figure Herbert Herb his name is Herb I'll put Herb And he's a man and you can have a name man a woman child you name yours it doesn't matter what <clears throat> now he can't if he had his phone mobile phone in his hand and he wanted to phone his family he couldn't do it because he would lift his phone his hand up in the air and it wouldn't reach it wouldn't reach it wouldn't reach his 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 ear there's his ear there he couldn't make that unless he bent his arm. So we're going to make him have a bend in his arm just halfway along and a bend in that arm halfway around. And we'll do the knees as well. That's going to be a knee and that's going to be a knee. And so those are elbows. And those are knees. Now they bend so now he's got he's got a central line but that's now bendy so he's, he's just had it made bendy so he's got a bendy central line and he's got a straight line there shoulder and that's hips and he's now got elbows and knees so it's saying where they're going to go but he hasn't actually put them in yet so we'll do first of all I'll draw a bendy line for his for his central line. Here's he's got a head and it's coming a bit smaller this time. And um and a curve now. That oh it's getting quite pale that. 
that's his hip line and that's his shoulder line because he's got that bent and he has it bent so that means he can twist and turn okay so he's got one arm here and then an elbow and one arm here and an elbow but he can bend them so he can he can um put his arm right up there like that and put his mobile phone on his ear so he'll be all right he's got it bent and this arm he can wave to his friend so he's got a little hand there we are he's waving to his friend and his his feet that foot is like like that, like that with a knee and then a and then that's his shoe and this leg is bent because he's he's standing at an angle so there you are that's that's him with his elbows and knees and he's talking to his friend and he's got his head in the air and he's smiling okay what is it is there so my little Herb is having a nice telephone call with his family, I think, or maybe his friend. So that is his hip line, and that is his shoulder line, and that is his elbow, his elbow, his knee, and his knee. Um, that I make it, 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 make it double so that it's obvious there. Okay, and that's his central line. So should they draw that? Can you draw that and make a shoulder line and a hip line and then make a, an elbow in halfway down the leg and then another one halfway down that leg and, and I mean a knee there and a knee halfway down there A special picture you're going to do now and I'm going to read you a list of the, some ideas you don't have to do any of them you do your own ideas but I'm going to you know, I've got ten ideas you could do you could draw a playground with swings and slides and roundabouts and um, many children playing on different things and you can do a beach scene with people wading into the waves a football match with all the team uh, pointing their toes at the and running after the ball. You could do a street demonstration with a lot of people and big notices. You could do a swimming pool with people jumping in and splashing water or your favourite music group in a concert. They're playing music. Or you could do dancing, new dancing. Um, fun dancing or uh, strictly come dancing or anything you like or you could do fairground with um, helter skelter and um, roundabouts and um, oh, all sorts of things in the fairground and you could do a zoo with elephants rhinoceroses um, penguins uh, flamingos um, bush babies, snakes, all sorts of things. But, but what we want is people. People doing different things. Maybe maybe having a ride on something. And or you can do a picnic in the forest with people sitting on the grass eating mm. lovely food in the, in the forest. Um, 
and people playing, children playing. So, if you so do, could I, you do one, Jeannie? And I'm going to do, um, <laughs> I'm going to do a children's playground, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have here. I'm going to have. My pen isn't working very well, and there's a there's a swing here like that, and there's a child on the swing. I'm sitting on a seat. And he's got there's his shoulder and holding on to the holding on to the sides and there we are there's a um there's a roundabout i don't know quite what it looks like these days but there's something like this and there's children on it and they are standing there and some of them are sitting down there's one sitting down Um, and um, maybe put some hair on them um, and there's um, there's a mother standing by she's got a skirt on and um, there's a dog here Um, the collar. Um, and the mackie trees here, and uh, another tree here. Apples on it, and the sun shining, and a slide here. We like that, and. A boy is going sliding down it and holding on to the side and his legs are sticking out like that. And he's going down. And it comes drop down like that. And there's there's a ladder to go up it. And it's holding on things down there. And there's a child standing at the top there waiting for his turn. There we are. And another child there. And another child coming down the slide. Way down the slide there we are. It's a girl. Um, and there's a seesaw here. And a boy on the seesaw. Okay, so. Lots of mothers and children, a lot of people, a lot of people there, a lot of people there, and few, and maybe there might be a horse around, I don't know, I haven't drawn one yet. <laughs> yes. Look. Okay. So there's an idea for you. That's a children's playground, and I thought a zoo. Now I've done a picture. Now it's your turn. Some send it to me. The address is in the description below. Your picture will show people bending and moving. That is what we've learned today. I found this jumping puppet. The address of the website is in the description below. Uh, make it with your parents. It's fun. Next time we'll be fleshing out the body to make them more like real people. Hoping to show some of your pics. So see you soon on my next session. Goodbye. <laughs>